Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and welcome again to another tutorial. It's been a while since the last time I did a tutorial and today I'm just excited to, you know, start all over again. So let's make another painting tutorial today. I decided to paint some boat with some reflections because you know me and water reflections. I just love painting water reflections and of course, uh, water reflections involve some light play as well so let's begin now as you can see i have here some three colors right uh straight on my canvas paper because i just want to try that um method or technique in painting so straight from the tube straight onto the canvas so let's begin now so the colors that we'll be using are in the description box below and yeah, I, I, I guess I'll just tell you the colors that I'll be using for today's tutorial. So of course, as you can see here, we have here titanium white, thalo blue, black. We also have cadmium or mid yellow, um, burnt sienna, and orange. So let's begin now. And I'm just gonna wet my brush and directly use the colors right on my canvas. We'll be doing some background colors. So I'm gonna do first with the black. So I'm actually doing the horizontal way of applying my paints because I'm trying to follow the flow of the water or the mood of the water. It's quite calm. you'll be hearing some background noise that uh, <laughs> you normally hear when I'm painting just like what I'm hearing right now all right I made or I made the lower portion of the canvas paper quite lighter because this is where the reflections are gonna go and this is where the light is hitting it the most so yeah okay so basically this is the background color Now let's add some mountain, some hints of mountain shapes. So I'm gonna get my gray color, mixed with white, add a tiny bit of blue, more blue actually. All right, let's try to make some suggestions of mountain.
Okay, we're going to use the same color just to define where the horizon is. So that's basically where the horizon is going to go. Okay, I'm just going to thin the line. Just like that. Of course, our canvas paper is still wet. I'm using a canvas paper if you're using a stretch canvas. It doesn't make any difference as to how I'll be doing it. And I'm also taping the sides so that, you know, it, it kind of looks wrinkly right now because, I'm, again, I'm using a canvas paper. But then later when the painting is all dried, um, it will be much better looking. Okay, so I think that will be it for the background and I will go back to that later. I just want to proceed now to doing the boat because that's the main focus of this tutorial. So I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm going to get my burnt sienna plus black. So it's just dark browny color. And I'm going to sketch now where my boat is going to go. It's overlapping the horizon line that I did. So um, I'm going to start right here again, eyeballing everything. So if you hear some background noise, you know, um, my neighbor's kid is quite like noisy. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I cannot prevent them. All right, like this. Okay, we're just trying to sketch here and as you can see, the underpainting is still wet or the background color is still wet. But I don't mind because it's going to dry pretty quick. Alright, we'll be doing some a little perspective. Okay, like that. Okay, like that and then again the reflection is the reverse image of the thing that is being reflected so we're gonna do the same thing right here only that the image will be more distorted but uh, for, to make it easier for us let's just redo the shape first before we do some uh, distorted uh, lines just for us to identify, you know, already where the reflections are gonna go. We will do the dis distortion, distortion, yeah, the distortion of image later. For now, let's just be more um, um, not precise. I, we cannot really be precise here. Um, the general, yeah just to get the general shape of the, of the thing that is being reflected. Now I'm trying to, I'm starting already to make some 
distorted image by moving my brush in this direction like horizontal okay because i've already identified the size of the reflection that is basically the size of the thing being reflected it's not this actual size of the thing being reflected because the distortion of image makes a boat look more big reflection wise i hope i'm making sense guys because of this distorted lines the shape of the boat becomes quite bigger than it actually is all right i think that the child of my neighbor is crying uh, i don't know just don't mind okay i'm gonna use the same color um brown black mixture only that i'll be adding more black this time and i'll be darkening the colors of the boat I'll be using the same color down here but in but then again you know um, I'm using some horizontal um, brush strokes to create the reflections don't forget to kind of distort the lines um, of the reflection don't forget just make some horizontal lines here and there just like that all right, now I'm getting some burnt sienna. Mix that with orange. Okay, so it's quite dirty orange. And I'm gonna apply this color right here. Because I love painting rustic boats, old boats. I don't know, there's just something in them that reminds me of nature even if it is a man-made thing a man-made object it just reminds me of nature maybe because of the water and the effects of the water on the boat making it rusty and even and you know moldy sometimes Okay, just be careful on the reflections because uh, you should not overdo the reflections, meaning it's just the reflections, so do not do as is, but the general colors should be reflected, just like what I'm doing. Again, just make some horizontal lines. When I said do not overdo it, meaning do not make the exact copy of the thing that is being reflected because that would make it more of a mirror than water reflections we want some distortion in the image meaning you are more free to do the reflections than um, when you're doing the thing that is being reflected because of detailing I hope I'm making sense <laughs> Okay, it's been a while since the last time I did my tutorial. So, yeah, forgive me if I'm not making sense sometimes. So now I'm gonna get my yellow. Mid yellow I'm using, I'm gonna mix that with a tiny bit of brown. And again, I'm just gonna continue applying it up here. And I don't mind the mixing of the black and the, black, the brown and the orange. And of course, we will go back to the sketch later just to correct some lines. Okay, I'm literally using my hand.
I'm adding some orangey color. Alright, like that. And then I'll be doing the same thing right here. Again, try to make it horizontal as much as possible. I'm gonna get my white. I'm gonna apply that on certain areas. Down here. Okay. But of course, it should also be reflected up here. Right, like that. I'm gonna get again my black brown mixture. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. And I'm now kind of separating the reflection and the thing that is being reflected. I'm gonna go up my paint is still wet I think I applied quite a bunch a bunch of paint when I was under painting this area okay just get I'm just I'm just using my black okay like that okay I'm gonna go along the the rim, I call it the rim. I don't know if it has, if that's the correct term for that, but it's like the edge of the mouth of the boat. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go around that area. All right, like that. Like that, okay? I'm gonna add some pure black on the reflection. And the reflection should also 
or you should also apply some vertical reflections but we will do that later for now let's just do first horizontal um, lines Okay, I'm just gonna wash my brush out and I will be using some burnt sienna. Okay, get your burnt sienna. Try to, you know, the paint is still wet, but try to make some markings on the boat, making it look more rustic. Okay, and the same way that we did the boat, we're going to do that to the reflection area. Okay, I'm going to apply some orangey color. Now I'm gonna get the black color. Let's make some horizontal, oh no, 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 vertical reflections. So just go vertical this time. And you do this quite randomly. You don't have to be precise as to where to place the vertical lines. You can do, uh, you can do this wherever you want. going to make some reflections outside the general shape of the boat here on the water area like like so okay okay I'm gonna get my black because from the reflect uh, from the reference image that we're using there is this part of the boat that okay that is very noisy um, you know uh, as I was telling you guys as I keep telling you I'm painting near my window because I'm using natural light when I'm painting and from my window uh, is a main road where lots of transportation are going in out of Manila. So it's quite uh, noisy when you hear, you know, when they, when it's in the morning, I mean, because it's quite a busy time, but I got used to it. Only that if you're new to my channel and you're still not, and you are not used to hearing those, uh, well, yeah, you will hear a lot of those when you watch my videos. All right, so as I was saying, there is some sort of black area right here. I think it's part of the boat. Okay, let's just darken. Like that, also here. Okay. I'm just making some markings that will suggest um, this that this boat is quite old. 
I'm sorry guys, I cannot speak today like properly. I only took a break from painting tutorials for a few days, for five days or four days. But I feel like I cannot speak anymore properly. All right, okay, now let's do the inner part of the boat. Or probably not yet. I'm just gonna do some more detailing, so get your black. Okay, there's like a pole. It's like where the boat is anchored at the moment. Okay, the reflection again of that pole. Again, make some horizontal line. Okay. I haven't really checked the image. All right, this looks good. Okay, now I'm going to add more detailing. I'm going to get my burnt sienna plus black. Let's just add, this is like a rope. Like that. Okay, now we're going to do the inner part of the boat. I'm gonna get some phthalo blue. Okay, I'm gonna mix it with yellow and then white to get this color. like pastel green although in the reference image it's like pastel blue but uh, I feel like the, re the background color the background color is already blue so if I do it blue it, it's yeah I don't I don't like it if it's blue against blue And then I'll be getting some black. Just try to make this more dimensional by adding some depth.
I'm going to extend it a bit like that. Okay. I'm going to get my black. And there is also something try to define this Just define it even more. Actually, I'm gonna make it a little thicker. Right, like that. Okay, I'm gonna wash my brush out. Going to get my burnt sienna plus black. Let's just make some, like a rod. Like that. Okay, and of course, Like that, <laughs> the reflection. Mm, I love this one. <laughs> I love it. You know, I think, I don't know if you've heard me many times say that, like I'm, lo I'm loving my painting. <laughs> so there's also some sort of rope And that rope should be somehow seen in the reflection, but quite it should be subtle, right? It should be really, really subtle, guys. Just like that. That's that's enough. Okay. Here we have that. Okay, we're going to define even more this pole. So just add some tiny detailing. that and then just do a straight line connecting this pole to this um like bar or like that like uh this boat is docked okay so 
there are so many ropes that I see. Okay, there's an ant on <laughs> because again I have so many plants right here right here beside me that's why if you see some ants it's quite normal <laughs> all right okay I'm gonna wash my brush out I'm gonna use a different brush uh, it's not a, like a technical brush you just use a clean brush because I'll be using some white okay so just get your titanium white and let's go to the water area let's just make some more horizontal lines on the water area like so you can wet your brush so that you apply the paint quite smoothly all right like that Okay, the ant wants to join. Okay. Like, like that. Only along uh, the area where the reflection is, where the reflection is, okay? Do not um, go beyond that. like that okay you can add more um, details on the sky but we'll do that later I'm gonna go back to doing some more detailing on the boat because it needs more detailing so I'm just gonna get my white and I'm gonna add it to the turquoise color that we have here for the boat all right just like that I'm gonna use the same color to kind of outline the boat Okay, I'm gonna make some white markings on the boat. These are like, you know, the paints have worn out. I'm gonna wash my brush out let me check oh this is so nice I'm gonna get some black and I'm gonna add more details oops it's too watery This is like this is actually a docking station, I guess, you know. Um, where the fishermen fishermen tie their boats when fishing is done or something like that.
Okay, I'm also making some markings. Okay. I think I'll add more orangey colors. Okay. Okay. Let me check. Yeah, this is gorgeous. <laughs> it's really, really nice. I like this. Okay, now for the sky, I think I'm just gonna make it quite dark. Um, actually, I can leave it as is. But um, I feel like it's still part of the scene. So I'm just gonna make some dark markings. On the sky. These are just distant mountains. I know that these are just distant mountains and these are just backgrounds, but I feel like I should do 
more detailing because of um, its suggestion of the mood of the painting. It adds to it. You see, that's much better. I kind of like it. It's quite misty, right? And now I'm going to apply the remaining color on my uh, brush right here. Just try to darken it a bit. Darking some areas. All right. And lightening the four, not the, the foreground, or it's not the foreground. Yeah, I think this is the foreground. Yeah, lightening the foreground like that. Okay. Yeah, I think this is good. This is so good. So I'm gonna sign this now and um wait guys, I'm just gonna lighten some areas a bit like that. Just giving it some highlight. Like that, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna sign right here because this space is quite busy. So I'm gonna sign it. Hmm. I'm just gonna use my black brownie color right here. okay and i think we're done we're done guys yay so i hope you enjoy this one it's quite simple uh, it's quite basic but it's one of my favorites because i love you know i love painting boats i just love painting the waters so thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video if you like this video like this video uh and share this with your friends tell them all about it and you know so that we can let them know as well that there is a channel that teaches um, painting tutorials just like um, uh, so many artists out there but you know you know you know what I mean guys just let them know that I exist <laughs> in other words so thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this one see you in my next video guys bye mm -hmm.